Hello, beautiful souls. I hope you're well. This morning, I woke up with the word love in my heart, in my intuition. And I felt that the Mela Collective had something to share about this topic. I don't personally have anything to add or so I will just uh, let them uh, offer you this transmission on the topic of love and we'll see what they have to say about it. You don't know what love is until you have experienced it in your heart, in your soul, in every part of your being. Love is not just a concept. Love is source. Source, imana, is love. And since you are a fractal of source, you are a fractal of love. We have transmitted in the last transmission and ones before about the union of the feminine and the masculine sacred energies. And we want to emphasize the fact that in this reunion, in this alchemical union that heals and that offers um, transcends ancient hurts and pains and really offers healing and um, higher state of consciousness, what binds these energies is love. This word in your Terran language and in your history and society has been used often wrongly. You have often used the word love to define the relationships you have with each other, may it be in your families, with your partners, with your children, with your other important people in your life. And in all kindness, we would like to invite you to reflect on the real quality of the love you have shared and others have shared with you. In love, there is freedom. In love, there is respect. In love, there is autonomy, sovereignty. There's joy. There's many things in love. But what you have called love very often was perhaps not the highest form of love that Imana invites us to incarnate as fractals of her, as fractals of source. Love transcends all barriers and it is beyond attachment. It, it is beyond dependency. It is beyond fear, which is its opposite. We simply invite you to, in all consciousness, to reflect and to observe the ways in which you incarnate what you call love. Observe if you find any addiction, any dependence, any lack of autonomy there. We realize that unconditional love is something extremely difficult to anchor and incarnate in your 3D life. And it is almost like perfection in your density, it is what we could say a destination. The importance is the journey. And we invite you to explore and to journey 
unconditional love. This journey will take you inevitably into raising your vibration and your consciousness to four and fifth density. And it will create with the people you interact with a beautiful link of the heart which is not bound by dependence. Love is like light. It binds in a positive and non-dependent way. Everything in the universe We are the Mela Collective, and we invite you to journey within unconditional love, realizing this is a destination and not something you should worry about getting to. This is something you experience in your everyday journey in every moment of gratitude, of joy of respect, of love, of may it be in the physical love, in the love of the heart, may it be from far away or close, because when it comes to love, distance is has no meaning. So the love you have for your galactic family, for example, or your twin flame that might be incarnated or not is something that you can, this link can be amplified by the power of your heart and the power of the love that resides in it. But this goes also, of course, for all beings around you. As we have previously said about light the same thing applies with love we don't encourage you to send directly love and light to beings that are of a regressive nature because they do not want it they are not ready for it and they will target you in return you just let them be you from your heart, from your center, you profoundly radiate that love and you expand it extremely in a large, very large and non-targeted way around you. And those who need it, those who are receptive to it will receive it without any problem. Those who are receptive to that love, who are not regressive energies, can be sent love and light directly if they wish so. And love is definitely a state of being rather than just an emotion or a way of acting and having relationships with others. It's a state of being. Being love, incarnating and anchoring love is being a fractal of source. And this is part of your mission on Terra here. We honor the size of your heart. We honor the beautiful energy and love that resides in it. You are amazing, beautiful fractals of source. And we invite you kindly to remember it, incarnate it, and anchor it on Terra. Okay, so I think that was their message for today. I personally don't have anything to add to this. I will let you with these, uh, let you go with these words, 
and hope you can find within you uh, the resonating love they were transmitting, not only through their words, but through the energies. And that their invitation to explore that journey of incarnated love is something that you resonate with. I wish you a beautiful day. Take great care of yourself and raise your vibration. Bye. All my gratitude for helping this channel bring positive vibes to more people.